Tripoli department. The topic is development in pneumatic braking system. These are the outline of our project. Problem statement. We have made a survey of accident reports on the areas and slopes, and especially trucks are under our surveillance. Uh, like the accidents of such a vehicle is there. Sir, uh, mute your mic, sir. And, uh, please uh, check your mic. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, Siji uh, Silsi or Deepak okay, sir, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, any one of you share your screen. Uh, Kaliram sir, meet your mic. I am also going to meet, meet my mic. Mm. Oh. Any one of you present? Siji or uh, Deepak? Who is going to present? Who is, who is going to give presentation? Siji. Jetson. Jetson. Yes sir. Yeah, okay. Siji, you please present. Let me explain that. Okay. Uh, yeah. If uh, Siji starts to speak, uh, Deepak, uh, you should uh, mute your mic. Okay, okay, that's okay, okay. Okay, anyone of you present? Okay. Yeah. That's why I'm presenting, and uh, you just explain. Yes. Okay, okay, now sir. it is clear, I think. Uh, echo is cancelled, uh, so no problem. You can proceed. Huh? Okay, sir. So, starting from the first, sir. So, we are from Tande Perir Government Institute of Technology. Myself, Siji Salsha from EC Department, and my project mate, Deepak Jetson from Chipley Department. The topic is uh, Development in Pneumatic Braking System. Uh, so, next slide. These are the outline of our project. Problem statement. We have made a survey on recent accident reports on hilly areas and in slopes. Especially trucks are under our surveillance. The accidents of such uh, heavy vehicles occur due to brake failure. Yes, as instant, brake failure paved a way for topu, uh, Topur accident, sir. You all know Thermopuri Topur multi vehicle collision. Four, four were dead and 15 major uh, injuries. I have attached some pictures of Topur accident on 12th December 2020. Our, our purpose is to avoid accident of this kind, that is failure of braking system. And the objective of our project is to bring the heavy vehicles which are in motion to rest condition when there is no sufficient pressure. Next slide. The air brake system are in uh, trucks and buses, and its uh, pressure should be greater than 60 psi. When 60 psi comes down to less than 60 psi, the vehicle or in vehicle go with an accident. The rest of the presentation, the pro and the project st structure will be handled by Judson. Judson, please proceed. Yes. Can you? So let me briefly explain about the air brake system that has been working in uh, heavy vehicles. Once uh, heavy vehicle uh, heavy vehicle needs pressure more than 60 psi to uh, give an efficient and uh, quick braking. Once it loses the sufficient pressure that 60 psi. Uh, automatically a spring brake uh, which uh, comes and uh, just holds the rear uh, axle wheels but uh, in some in some cases these spring brakes too can uh, bring the vehicles to an accident so for that uh, we have uh, introduced a development idea in this um, which can be uh, used as safety too so our idea is to um, we, uh, we all know that uh, an engine uh, works in four uh, different uh, strokes. Uh, four stroke engine, uh, there's a uh, stroke called power stroke. Our idea is to shut down the power stroke by uh, closing the intake and exhaust valves. And uh, we are dividing the co uh, common rail sections of engine. Common rail means the uh, where the diesel flow uh, comes into the single rail. So uh, we are powering the even set of cylinders and odd set of cylinders are uh, being shut down 
during the time of uh, emergency braking so and we are also using turbocharger uh, turbocharger is used to provide the air to the hot cylinders uh, how is uh, the hot the the air to the hot cylinders are being forced by the turbocharger and uh, sent into the vacuum reservoir to increase the uh, vacuum uh, brakes pressure and uh, um, and once the sufficient pressure is reached the vacuum reservoir automatically releases its pressure and it breaks all the wheels in the heavy vehicle next slide so for this we have need some automobile engineering knowledge so we have formed uh, we are a nine members of team in our college and we have submitted this uh, proposal to hyundai and uh, um, daimler ag oragadam plant so they have uh, called us next month for explaining them and uh, working uh, working with them we have worked our project with tnsctc uh, sengota sengota depot uh, or their me the mechanics of uh, ctc depot have uh, helped us in this by using uh, a volvo vehicle excellent so it's influence the vehicles one part of power is shut down so the power so when when a vehicle is driving at uh, riding at a speed of 50 to 65 kilometers it uh, suddenly reduces to 30 to 35 and uh, the yeah necessary air intake for that uh, engine is being for uh, transferred to the vacuum reservoir so which is comp forcefully compressed and uh, sent into the vacuum reservoir once the sufficient pressure is reached the uh, automatically the uh, brakes will apply and this uh, reduces the tire wear of the uh, engines uh, of the vehicles and this uh, the load can be equal uh, then can be safely brought uh, back to the rest next and thank you and we have uh, added the demo part too and in demo part uh, we have we have just uh, uh, in, um, added the uh, auxiliary we have not uh, made the original uh, video of the uh, original working of this we have just added the auxiliary reservoir for uh, uh, for this bus and uh, once the reservoir is automatically reached it automatically breaks we have just added that since uh, we have to work with engine spot also this uh, can be highly needs to be worked with uh, some of our uh, colleagues so we have submitted for a proposal and waiting for the clearance oh, okay you have to share share, share me uh, the proposal submit to the hyundai and uh, propo uh, proposal uh, as yes. uh, just email correspondence to hyundai and uh, sir in this demo we have just uh, Added, uh, just, uh, added just an auxiliary tank. We have not uh, used any turbocharger or uh, divided the engine sections. Uh, uh, Since the engine sections needs to be divided, means uh, we need to we we need some more uh, efficient uh, workers for that. No, so we have just. No, no, I'm, I'm not asking you whether. Uh, uh, how, how much Once the pressure to... is reached, it automatically cut down its power. Okay, okay. No, I'm not asking you about how, how much you are going to implement uh, on those things. I'm asking perhaps. you. To uh, share you, yes, one idea. share you the okay. uh, email correspondence with the TNST and uh, but you can make the uh, Hyundai. Now. Just share me the email correspondence. Prototype, sir. We have made some of uh, SolidWorks um, simulation for this. Okay, just open your yeah, yeah, mail yeah, and see, show me you see, you whether you have communicated with the Hyundai or TNST. That you can show now. Later you can you can connect into the bus or vehicle later. Uh, first, you go to make the prototype model. So, how it's uh, we say the control unit, something like that, you go to show now. So, in your demo, you are showing some buses, that's all. Okay. So what's yes, your uh, yeah. contribution we need? Okay, okay. Any, anyway, if you, you, are, you are going to even, that's you, okay. are, you are very uh, good idea. You, you have to show us ideas, the that is different. email correspondence. Yes, email, that, uh, email correspondence with the uh, Tamil Nadu State Road Transport Corporation. Uh, and, uh, something you have to show. Um, uh, that will be better, done. I feel. One. Second thing is, you are concentrating that particular vehicle uh, to avoid from the accident. Uh, uh, yes, but sir. the uh, accident is different. Uh, one particular vehicle has met the accident and the collision has been uh, made actually. Uh, the, the next vehicles, uh, actually it yes, is sir. a uh, 
jammed with that vehicle so that only that major accident was happened so is there yes, any provision to uh, make other vehicles safe Deepak, your project you are contemplating Deepak, that particular vehicle only Deepak, Deepak sir uh, you sir. have to you have to show us the email correspondence with the Tamil Nadu state uh, road transport corporation and Hyundai you you okay. you uh, you have showed that you have uh, Uh, submitted the proposal to Hyundai Tamil Nadu State Road Tra- Transport Corporation and all those things okay if you have uh, if you have submitted you may you may have some email correspondence that you have to show us yes sir yeah just show us the email correspondence that's all we don't re- want to read that whether we are we, are, we have ascertained that uh, whether you have communicated with uh, Tamil Nadu State Road Tra- Transport Corporation or Hyundai Uh, sir we have submitted a proposal to hyundai sir okay and we have rejected it and uh, uh, the second call from them is not it uh, announced uh, for us okay. so it will be announced uh, within uh, february 5th to uh, march 5th sir okay and then you have to show the uh, communication with the tamil nadu state uh, transport corporation road transport corporation Tamil Nadu State Road Transport Corporation. I, sir, uh, I work. Uh, my uncle was working with the uh, SETC. Okay. Whether so you got, I, uh, whether you got any know. email correspondence with them? Do you have any email correspondence or hard copy, letter copy? Sir, no, sir. College level, no letter. Why? Can't we just send it? Okay. 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 Is there? Is there given any reply to you? Uh, that that you have to show. Whether uh, you have to. Show. Uh, so that letter copy something like that sir i think so that letter is with them only can, can you give me some time i will get back to you deepak always okay okay, okay. you can get, get back and uh, you can paste it in the whatsapp group or whatsapp group yes sir okay yes, right. sir yes sir okay you can leave now okay thank you right okay thank you sir thank you thank you thank you sir. and then uh, thank you sachi selsia and deepak jatson from uh, tandey periyar government institute of technology vellur finish it next next batch harish v smart i team juniors iitt team name project title smart i harish v from uh, secondary ce irtt and uh, sivan nath nm from from uh, secondary triple e irtt college sir yeah hmm first year you can start share your screen uh. welcome our project title is smart type our project mentor is dr r sindhu kumar assistant professor of electronics and communication engineering institute of oil transport technology and we hari from electronics and communication engineering second year institute of oil transport technology i am nm sivanand triple e department second year from institute of road and transport technology objective india has nearly 15 by 37 billion of blind genders among them most of them trying hard to survive 
not in society but in surroundings our project main motive is to find an alternative way to give and helping hand for them confidence used arduino you are now board ultrasonic sensor ultrasonic sensors are devices that generate or sense ultrasound energy next arduino board. Arduino UNO R3. Arduino uh, board designs use a variety of microprocessor and controller. The board are equipped with a set of digital and analog input output pins that may be interfaced to various expansion board or breadboard and other circuits. The board features serial communication interface including universal serial bus on some models which are also used for loading programs from personal computers arduino refers to an open source electronic platform or board buzzers buzzers is an electrical device that makes a buzzing noise and is used for signaling next software requirements arduino drive it is an android ide which is helpful in running the android programs even within the mobiles we didn't try the program in the this is our computers we use just the phone to program our android circuit connection this is our circuit connection let's build up now let's take an android board it's android uno and then hc sr nafo sensor hc sr nafo sensor contains four pins VCC, Scissor, Echo, and Ground. The 5 volt of the Arduino port is connected to the VCC of the Agrasonic sensor. The ground of Arduino is connected to the ground of Ultrasonic sensor. The digital pin for 10 is connected to the trigger of Arduino ultrasonic sensor and the digital pin 9 is connected to the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor. Now let's take in buzzer. The buzzer 90 wind is connected to the ground of the Arduino UNO board and the positive is connected to the digital pin port 2. Hence we built our circuit. Let's upload the code now. Let's open the Android Dried app and let's begin to code. The coding part contains mainly two sections the setup section and the loop section. The setup section decides the connection of our art node. We connected the trigger pin to the output, echo pin to the input, buzzer to the output, LED pin to the output. The white, the loop section can be decides the working of our Arduino. Now it's ready. Here is the person who is wearing our gadget. Let's test it with our demo. Hence, our project concluded with a success note. Our project's main motive has been achieved. Future works. Our future work is to embed our project with the Google Map 
and give you an automated eye. This automated eye embeds the Google map with the Arduino and recognizes the speech from the mic and converts it into the text and then it converts it to the uh, again audio and speakers his speakers are simple headphones are used to communicate with the blind people for that we use ac to dc converters in future works thank you kalyan sir do you have any questions sir? yeah 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 good good presentation mr harish and uh, friend eh? and his friend and uh, you. now you go you go for the demo now. is it live or uh, recorded video recorded video sir okay uh, what you are achieving uh, actually you are sensing the wall or the door everything uh, within uh, rec- It, uh, it, will give the it will give the indication about the wall or door or something, uh, some obstacle. No, sir, sir, it detects the obstacles and gives the information, uh, gives the buzzing sound, sir. Uh, which, how much distance it will detect? It depends on the sensor, sir. sir. Can you adjust the sensor distance? Sir, so it depends on the sensor. Uh, yes, sir, uh, we can use the potential detect- to adjust the sensor. Uh, what is the maximum distance and what is the minimum distance? It is going to detect the obstacle. We didn't go through this, sir. Uh, you go through it. Eh? Anyhow, good try. Um, uh, you go to you go to measure. See, suppose if you are roaming in a wall in a room, means always it will it will be giving some alarm. I think so. So you when when we roaming in that uh, roadside, the distance has to be increased. And inside the building, the distance has to be decreased. Something like that. You have to make some arrangements. Anyhow, good. Situation. We have to measure the. Yes, 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 yes. At that time, we have to change the mode also. Something like that. You can categorize the mode. When we when we walk in the open space, you go, you can you can set the mode in different. And when you are in that inside the building, you can have some other uh, mode. Okay. Sorry. Like that, it makes some arrangements. Okay. Otherwise, it is good only. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, thank you. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, Harris. Thank you, Sir Anand. Thank, thank you, sir. Okay. Um, the next participant. Mono already given. Uh, any one of you in the third batch? Madan, Madan, you asked, sir. Mano, Mano, Mano. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, Sanjay, Barney Daran batch. Sanjay, Barney Daran. No, not any Daran given. Okay. Susan Jarnachalam, uh, he asked me the afternoon session. Bhuma Dasraf given. CG Celsia, okay. Harish, Mano, okay. Sir, Vetrivel first. Vetrivel first. Ah. Uh, IoT based advanced home automation using Node MCU controller. Yes, sir. Technology boys. Okay, the next presentation um, uh, is going to be given by uh, Technology boys. Project title IoT IoT based advanced home automation using Node MCU uh, controller. Uh, G Vitriol S Kartik Selvam T Manoj. Uh, electrical and electronics engineering from Seth Institute of Technology. Okay. Uh, start your share your presentation and start your presentation. Let me share your presentation. Yes, sir. Sir, I have started my presentation. Sir, I am on. Exit. Ah. Uh, uh. Sir, am I am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. yes sir. sir, I have shared my presentation, sir. This is simple. Sir, I am 
I have done a project IoT based home automation using Node MCU controller, sir. And uh, our aim, is, our objective is to uh, staying on some other places, and but his home somewhat uh, motor is uh, somewhat uh, water is coming on uh, our security on uh, this to be to be controlled by uh, anywhere else to his home, sir. In world, anywhere he was in, he can be controlled his own appliances, sir. That is my. Uh, Problem statement, sir, and uh, its aim is our aim is to reduce the complexity of a human face in uh, in this human due to lack of time, sir. The project is intended to generate and provide different models which has been uh, working using internet using IoT, sir. And the components we have been using is Node MCU, Arduino, and the fourth tunnel relay module, sir. And uh, Node MCU is a low cost uh, open source of IoT. Initially, included firmware of ESP8266. Wi-Fi SOC, sir. And Arduino, we have been used for a microcontroller kit and a building a digital device, sir. And a four channel relay is a communication between the sender and the receiver aided by a one intermediate relay node, sir. And we are using IFTT software for Google Assistant, which is used to control our appliances of home, sir. And AdFood software is to know the devices whether it's in on or off condition by using Adfruit software, sir. And this is our block diagram of our uh, project, sir. Uh, Node MC board, uh, channel, four channel relay, and Arduino board is connected to a four channel relay, sir. And uh, to electric appliances, we can connect to Google Assistant, sir. And this is our circuit diagram, sir, where the motor and uh, Node MC board were connected after the circuit diagram, sir. And uh, this is our working model of our project, sir. In the stimulation, I was being told that add food if you on the appliance means the photo as in the photo the relay will be on and off sir. To know that uh, whether the appliance is in on or off condition, we can know by using this software sir. And uh, the future work of our is we have introduced uh, advanced era in a home management system and the security make human life more easy and luxurious and. Uh, Less cost for rural areas and the schools, sir, and reducing the complexity and easy available to people, sir, increase and increasing the security systems. Sir. And this is our opening model. Sir, any other questions, sir? Uh, yeah, Mr. Trivia. Yes, sir. What is IFTTT? Sir, IFTT is a software which is used to. We should have enrolled that uh, software. Uh, if we want to turn on light, means uh, we have been to access the Google Assistant. That software we are using. For. Sir, that, that's an what interface. Uh, sir, that's an interface for uh, particularly for IoT applications, sir. Yes, sir. IFTT. IFTT, sir. IFTT. IFTT, sir. IFTT, sir. But when you talk, you told that IFTT, IFTT. I have IFTT. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And in your... And, uh, we have done uh, both on... We have done both the things in a single project, sir. That is mean by we can do automation also and we can do that controlling by us also, also, sir. If we... Working on a uh, uh, big industry means if you are doing automation means at the correctly time 11 o'clock this motor should be run means we can be automatically we can insist that sir. Okay, in your Google demo, yes, yes. In your demo, you go, uh, you go, you got one laptop also, no? Yes, sir. Uh, whether it Far is connected point. with the, whether it is connected with that uh, uh, board or not, sir. We have been uploaded the code, sir, uh, for. Uh, 
power supply only we have been using for laptops sir because for uh, the board has been node mc board has been short circuited for many times due to high voltage so my question my question in your uh, sensor or the controller whether it is interfaced with your laptop or not how oh, just you have programmed it and uploaded that data into just the... just i have been program it and i have uploaded it sir uh, yeah okay okay yeah, that's it Yeah, whether you are controlling uh, for home automation, automation, whether you are controlling uh, lights or other uh, uh, fans. Sir, we can we can control any appliances, sir, such as a fan, light, and a smart. Uh, nowadays, coming a smart uh, lock like that is coming, sir. For that, we can access. And what is the role of security in here? Sir, uh, such as camera on and off and uh, rechargeable, such as the batteries. Uh, Going to be that means we can be charged by using. It. Oh, uh, you mean uh, uh, for security camera you are providing the charges? Eh? That is your obligation, right? No, sir. Uh, like that means uh, for rechargeable things sir, such as uh, any component such as we want to recharge it means we can use it by charging it, sir. Not for security camera means I was stating for examples. No, no. In your presentation, you told that it's providing the security also. No. Yes, sir. For a digitalized lock, sir. For that. Digitalized lock. How it is providing lock. the security? Uh, digital, digital lock. lock. Digital lock. 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 Sir. Lock. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Ah, sir. Uh, right. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, yeah. you can call if anyone is free now and okay. directly ask them to present. Uh, uh, from uh, you call okay. by order. Suppose anyone is ready to okay. present, na directly. Okay. Give one uh, um, medicine reminder alarm. Okay. Okay. Finish and then. Uh, uh, Barney, there an online penalty payment for traffic. Traffic uh, violation. He is not available. Lag in there and finished. Okay, pulse band. An automated approach to inspect social distance through drone. Uh, afternoon session. Mama Dasrup given. CG Sarsia given. Harris given. Then uh, Mono given. And uh, um, ECG care. Yeah, smart fit for polluter incubators. Gautam Raj, Harinath, Bagishri. Yes, sir. I'm I'm available, sir. Okay, sir. Share, now start your presentation. Share your screen. The next batch is um, EGG care. EGG or ECG? Sir, it's egg care, sir. Egg care. Okay, egg care. Yes. Sir. Uh, egg care is yes, smart fit for polluter incubators. Gautam Raj K, Harinath yes, Bagisri U. Uh, from electronics and communication engineering department sri iswar college of engineering kwamito now start your presentation Is my screen visible, sir? No. Oh, yeah, now visible. Now visible. Now it's visible. Yes, sir. I will start the presentation. So, good morning to one and all present here. So, I am going to give a detailed explanatory about our product, Egg Care. So, which is a smart fit for poultry incubators. So. What is egg care? Uh, uh, our main aim is to give a, a, a small or a simple re retrofit model, which uh, turns the normal poultry incubators or hatching units into an entirely smart and automated one, rather uh, shifting into a cost uh, high uh, automated incubator or hatching units. So, what we do, and uh, this is our team, uh, the, and myself, Gautam Raj, I am be the product. Project lead and I'm uh, the hardware uh, part, and Harnath will be taking care of uh, software part, and Bagi Sri to the product design part. And uh, our team is mentored by Mr. Vivek Kumar M. He is the project associate in uh, Shri Shiva Ignite Startup Accelerator. 
So what are the problems we have taken to solve? So uh, regarding the poultry incubators and hatching units, uh, the main problem is that uh, first problem is manual errors in maintaining the parameters. In uh, recent days or in uh, or normal poultry incubators, uh, uh, we have to appoint uh, men or uh, women uh, to take care of the temperature, humidity and the other parameters and to take a uh, note in a pen and paper. And we have to take the hard copy till the slot ends. Like a normal slot will be ending up to 21 days. Uh, in which the first 18 days will be in incubation period and uh, three uh, last three days will be under the hatching period. So the next problem is that uh, due to the man manual labors, uh, in recent days uh, there is an inconsistency of labors and uh, if uh, the laborer does any error uh, while monitoring the parameters or uh, taking care of the chicks while production, there is a low productivity and the profit will ultimately goes down. And uh, when uh, the inside the incubator, so when the egg uh, grows day by day, chicks grows day by day, when it breaks the shells, uh, the uh, small ppm uh, parts per million, a small amount of CO2 gas will be emitted from that uh, em embryo, that egg shells. And uh, if the entire uh, CO2 gas is uh, maintained stagnant inside the incubator for a whole 18 days, it will uh, uh, directly affect the fertility of the embryo. So the fertility will get damaged. And uh, we, we need to have a man over there round the clock, like the 24 by 7, the incubator will be running and uh, the man has to take care of all the readings and uh, etc. So these are the problems we are focusing. So regarding the incubation and hatching periods, the main data analysis is that uh, due to lack of temperature, uh, when the temperature is uh, uh, va gets varied, 21 percentage of the eggs will be wasted in the total slot. And uh, if uh, carbon dioxide if varies uh, within a 0.2 percentage, 5 percentage of the eggs will be wasted and uh, insufficient of oxygen. So in normal incubators, uh, there itself, it contains, by default, it contains an oxygen hole. And uh, if that is in insufficient of oxygen, it will lead when the, the carbon dioxide mixes with that oxygen gas. So uh, when 0.1 percentage is lag, 0.5 percentage eggs are wasted. Uh, since India is the third largest egg product producer in the world, so this uh, poultry sector may plays a major role and the parameters we have to monitor in the incubators are uh, temperature, humidity and the gas parameters. So what the gap analysis we found is that uh, we don't have any retrofit available in the market. Only we have normal incubators or when we turn them into a smart incubators, we have just to throw them into a scrap or we have to just exchange them and buy a smart incubator from the uh, import foreign import uh, companies and uh, we have to purchase in a large amount. So what is the solution we provide for this problem is that we'll uh, monitor the, all the parameters through sensors and we'll de deploy the history of that data like a temperature, humidity along with we are, we are monitoring the CO2 content and we'll be deploying that in the cloud. And we can monitor uh, those uh, parameters uh, anytime, anywhere using our website and also the mobile applications. Such it, can, it is an automatic monitoring of the parameters. And if there is any variation in the parameters, like temperature goes uh, below the threshold or above the threshold, we have a relay module in our uh, control uh, control unit, which uh, which is connected to the light and the fan fan inside the incubators, and it automatically turns when the temperature goes high, the fan will get automatically turned on, and when temperature goes low. The light, uh, the light will uh, turn on and the intensity is used to increase the temperature. And also take out the CO2 gas when it is exceeds the threshold limit, uh, we will be using the fan to take out. Then automatic controlling of the attachments. So this uh, will eliminate the manpower uh, for uh, the entire 21 days. We can uh, even monitor uh, through our mobile application. Only the labor is required uh, when he inserts the egg chicks into the incubator and he when uh, when he takes out the from the egg chicks from the incubator and uh, shifts to the hatching unit and cleaning the machines. That's it. So ultimately, the labor cost and the labor errors will be reduced through this. So this is a block diagram. So the block diagram first consists of the input sensor data like temperature, humidity and gas data will be taken from the uh, incubation or hatching unit and uh, sent into the controllers. So through the controllers, we'll be dividing into two. It sends the controls and it, uh, we have a display unit, OLED display unit to display the data uh, in, on that on our retrofit and also the relay module. So when con send, controls are sent to the relay module, we'll be checking that when the temperature of, uh, of that particular threshold value goes below or above. So based on that, we'll be controlling that. And uh, the data are deployed in the cloud uh, for uh, future references. Uh, and it can be easily visualized through website and uh, mobile applications.
So this is one of the model graph. So where the temperature is plotted in the Fahrenheit, humidity is plotted in the percentage, and the gas content will be plotted in ppm. So normally the glass con gas content should not exceed 450 to 480 ppm. So it goes beyond that, it uh, uh, leads to the infertile chick productions. So this is a product image. So first two are the product images. And then the second image we have with the two leads. These are the two sensor leads where we'll be giving the uh, temperature and humidity sensor to the one and the gas content for the another. And uh, we have done the field testing and this is the image for uh, attachment of a retrofit on a normal incubator. So after buying a product, uh, what are the value proportions given to the customers is that they can uh, monitor the parameters automatically. So easy control and access through anywhere. So if they if they even they are not present uh, near to the incubator, they can monitor the incubator process and the data uh, through mobile and web application anywhere. And even for future references. So for the years uh, in January, he had uh, plotted a slot. Even in December, he can uh, view the slot's uh, entire uh, report at that uh, instant. So it's just an add-on, not a not an uh, uh, entire replacement. Like uh, we are just adding a retrofit to the existing normal incubators. It's not just an entire uh, replacement of the normal incubators. So we can reduce the cost also. So it is just a portable and attachment, which ultimately leads to the high productivity and uh, reduces the wastage of X to a minimum extent. Who are our customers? Dealing with the customers, the first customer is that uh, small and large scale farmers. Even nowadays, the farmers are uh, very interested in uh, getting small incubators like uh, 20 chicks, 30 chicks, and even uh, many are incubating till 1000 chicks in their uh, farms. And uh, the second customer is that incubation hatching unit. The units will be taking care, take care of uh, production up to 15,000 eggs and uh, large quantities. Then farmer product producer companies. It is that a group of farmers, uh, they are clubbed together in uh, certain associations. And uh, we, if we directly sell to that association, from that uh, central limit, uh, we'll be reaching all the farmers, all the industries. So incubator manufacturers. We can also promote our product through our incubator manufacturers also. So many can think that even uh, in one slot, uh, it is a wastage of 20, 30 X. It cannot uh, affect the total profit, but not considering one slot, our uh, aim is to more, our aim is to reduce the wastage of X totally in the incubation market. So 26 crores revenue will be generating in the industrial annually in the poultry sector alone. So uh, it can be divided into two, largest egg producer and poultry sectors. So large, largest egg producer, 38% will be direct, taken into direct consumption to the people like half boils, boiled eggs, etc. 62% are sent to the hatchery and the incubation sectors. In that, in, in a particular slot, for 100 eggs, 13 eggs are get wasted in the current uh, data. For then, uh, mm -hmm. incubation sector is uh, incubating about uh, 15,000 eggs. So it is converted into 1,000, uh, near to 2,000 eggs, it, they are wasted. So for this wastage, the loss is around 20 crores in the annual. For manpower labor cost also, they are getting, they are calculating the 20 crores loss. And uh, it affects 2% of the total income. See, 26,000 crores of annual revenue, 2% just gets wasted. So it is a big amount of loss, right? So this is a one year slot. So for one year, uh, 21 days of incubation, we can incubate about around uh, 15 slots. That is uh, nearly 15,000 eggs. If the eggs gets reduced also, the 21 days are constant time. So only 15 slots we able to produce. And if after eliminating all the waste stages, so 14 slots will be yielded successfully. So entire one slot gets wasted for a particular year. So this ultimately leads to a low profit to the customers, also the incubation industries. So what are the channels through which our product will be promoted to the customers is that we'll be sold through online marketing. So we'll directly reach the customers and the incubation centers and we'll promote our product. And uh, inbound sales, which refers to the uh, farmer producing companies. So inside that association, we can uh, inbound to them and sell them. Then referral sales for uh, if a one customer uses our product and it, he gets benefited, he also refers our product to the nearby friends, his friends. Uh, so buy this product like that. So sales through the dis distributors is that we'll promote a product through distributors by giving them 15% commission and referral sales. If someone refers a product, so one, once you get the next product, 10% will be reduced to you like that. So considering the competition mapping, so the available incubators in the market uh, do not have automatic parameter monitoring, do not have the gas analysis parameter, the mobile application, 
control etc but they have only the manpower usage in a law, law, more amount but our retrofit uh, will eliminate the manpower as well as it has the mobile app control application for visualizing the data gas parameter monitoring automatic monitoring of iot parameters so what is a cost structure a cost structure simply not depend on the one particular cost it depends on certain variables like manufacturing cost marketing cost miscellaneous cost and the raw material circuit components when we go for marketing distributor cost etc so in the current situation uh, for around uh, 2000 to 2500x the normal incubator costs around uh, 170000 but a smart incubator that is uh, it, it consists of all the smart features it is 255000 but when we shift for normal to smart, uh, the either we should exchange these small normal incubators with a low cost or we should throw them into a scrap and then buy it to the new smart incubators. So there is a cost difference of 85,000. So this 85,000 for one incubator, when an incubating hatching units is uh, incubating about 15 or 16 machines, they'll uh, get a more uh, amount of uh, increase. So our product cost is around 14,600, which is just a 17 percentage of that cost difference. what is the market plan to reach out the market first we'll get uh, we'll uh, approve uh, we'll design the product uh, successfully and uh, we'll produce and we'll text test the product to the nearby incubators for one or two slots and then get approval and then reach out to the customers through the market so while reaching the market or implementing the constraints and barriers we face that not only for broiler x different types of x needs of different like, incubation parameters like a uh, broiler x needs of 21 days and the uh, card I X will uh, reach out 18 days. It, it requires only 18 days of incubation. So under the series of incubators, like uh, 15 machines are attached. Uh, to that 15 machines, now we no need to uh, uh, attach a single each uh, each and every machine with a single attachment. So we are planning to convert the product into a series of incubator attachment. So what kind of revenue we can able to reach through this product? So one single product, we can reach the customers through three different ways. Online sales, either direct implementation to the customers or the sales through the manufacturers. So when we direct implement, we'll get through the premium pricing process. Like the first slot for free trial, they'll get benefited and they'll, get, they'll be much, much more happy to buy a product. And we can uh, also monthly installments uh, to the uh, pharma producing companies. Like the, uh, while selling in that association, we can uh, get the amount through month, monthly installments. Uh, and uh, we can sell through the manufacturers through a rental or commission basis. We can also give to the commission basis, like uh, as earlier mentioned, distributed commission with 15 percentage. So all these things entirely leads to a good chic production and also a good profit. This is our aim. So while coming into the market, how we'll get sustained. So our total addressable market is that all the egg incubation and hatchery units, but when our service addressable market main focus on all the units and also small and large scale farmers. So due to this gap, that is no uh, retrofit is available in the market. We'll easily reach the customers and give up more uh, production to them. So this is our future market plan by attaching the retrofits uh, directly to the customers by partnership with the assuring units and also uh, sales inbound marketing. So thank you. Thank you for your valuable time. Gautam Raj, you may have questions from... Uh, so, good, one. very nice presentation. You have given more details. Uh, but uh, you are studying third year? So, final year, sir. Final year. Uh, you already promoted this product? Sir, yes, sir. We have uh, just tested for one slot in uh, Trishna Hatches and uh, one of the uh, leading uh, producer in Tamil Nadu, sir. So, one machine we have just tested for one uh, one particular day, sir. So it works fine and uh, we have uh, we are using that uh, prototype model so while converting into a MVP we have to change the sensors into like a temperature sensor we will be using a PT100 sir. So okay. for a uh, humidity sir. What is my question is yes, uh, actually you got uh, four levels you know so which level you are now? Sir second in the level. marketing plan sir. Yes sir oh. we are under the second level sir testing sir. Are you sure that uh, the uh, current incubators they don't have any kind of uh, any this kind of uh, uh, what you are giving some uh, uh, these uh, attachments? 
Yes, sir. Uh, current incubators, uh, we have uh, done a detailed market survey to uh, four to five incubators uh, in our locality, sir. And uh, uh, visiting to that incubators, uh, they don't have any attachments or they don't have any automatic method. Only the automation in that machines is that auto turning mechanism, sir. The oh. eggs will be turned due to uh, within some uh, period of time. But oh, they just don't I, have any. Just I want to ensure that uh, nowadays they don't have this kind of attachments first. Uh, are, you, are you sure that they don't have? Yes, sir. yes, sir. I'm sure uh, normal incubators don't have any such attachment for automatic parameter monitoring, sir. Because no, yeah. see, this is this is very big industry, and yes, they got lot of things. Eh, and you are saying that nowadays they don't have any kind of attachment like this. And uh, I want to make sure that. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, for sure, the normal incubators don't have that, sir. Only the smart incubators, which are uh, imported from the foreign uh, manufacturers, they have the, all the things, but at a high cost, sir. Why, uh, in uh, smart incubators, they are having these attachments, no? Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, they don't have mobile application parameters, sir. Only automatic monitoring of the temperature, humidity, sir. But they are at a very high cost, sir. Like a uh, mm -hmm. 2008 incubator itself, they cost around two uh, lakh fifty-five thousand, sir. But the idea is there, huh? Yes, sir. One day the mobile application monitoring is uh, they don't have, sir. Only the temperature, humidity, and also the incubators uh, they don't monitor. They just run the fan and take out the gas, sir. They didn't okay. take the reading about the CO2 gas, sir. Thank you, thank you. Very nice presentation. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Kaushal, you may have questions from participants also. Participants, uh, anyone of you? Uh, sure, sir. I am ready to answer. Harish, are there anyone? <laughs> Hi, hi, Gautam. I am ah, Harish. Hi. Yeah. And uh, what is the temperature? Uh, temperature you have set up. So the temperature is uh, the way uh, uh, for the stuff. In uh, considering the Fahrenheit, it should not exceed uh, the ninety-seven Fahrenheit, sir. So ninety-nine, ninety-seven to ninety-nine. Uh, when shifting into the hatching unit, it can be around ninety-nine. Uh, but it should in uh, incubation period, it should not uh, exceed around ninety-seven percentage. And also humidity should not exceed around fifty to sixty percentage. So when these thresholds you know, are, our controller will be. Automatic. I'm also using that, but uh, within thirty-seven, uh, uh, within thirty-seven Celsius, I'm getting that. I mind. I. Keeping in at uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, let's okay. Is it really profitable this box? Yeah, it's hundred uh, percent. It's profitable because uh, it reduces the manual errors so and also wastage effects. Yeah, yeah. Next, my my next question is, yeah. if we your total cost that box cost is fourteen thousand. Yeah. Yeah, well, if you in, if we incubate uh, eggs in your box, we may get uh, chicks. You see, so, uh, help uh, them. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Please hear my question. Yeah, okay. If we incubate the eggs in our chicks in in your box, is that chicks are healthier than the mother chicks? So uh, our uh, product is not uh, testing about the healthy or just. It is not also incubating box. It is just a retrofit. So uh, normal incubators will attach that uh, ex uh, attach our product as an external attachment. It is a control automatic controlling unit. So when we control yeah, this, okay, that, uh, it won't be. Uh, I think so. It won't be healthy. So for fourteen uh, thousand, we may buy twenty-four uh, mother hens. It may yield more than egg, more than eggs, which may be profitable. So then, why so this? Yeah. Uh, now, when dealing with the one or two hens, may uh, yield more than this uh, box. I uh, didn't say this is incubation box. Whether you name it. But uh, this may be profitable, the, but this is less may, profitable than 